I cannot let you see the disgusting state of my hair. So we're going to wear a hat. Deal with it or leave. Okay? What do you want me to do? <sighs> right. I realise that no one cares about the disgusting state of my hair. But I do. So we've gone for a little Union Jack bobbly beanie. Today... I haven't done one of these in ages, but today we're going to be doing another taste test of Korean and Japanese snacky doodles. The reason I'm doing, I wasn't actually planning on doing one, however, uh, I went to my favorite good old favorite website called Wanahong to order some more Raymond's ramen because I've gone through all the ones that I've had before to do my ramen talks. So I needed some more. So, guess what I did? I ordered some more. And when, unfortunately, um, you are on that website, there is absolutely nothing you can do to stop yourself from buying other things because there's just so many things to choose from. So I bought a crap ton of ramen and a crap ton of other things as well. So the first thing I need to show you that I bought, I'm not going to show you the ramens by the way because they're a surprise for the ramen talks. I know that I've already bought millions and millions of chopsticks but I bought some stainless steel ones. So one, I can just wash them instead of disposing of them and two, um, because they're a lot harder to use than wooden ones. Wooden ones don't have a lot of slide but of course these aren't wood these are metal so they slide about so I thought you know what I think I've pretty much got to grips with the wooden ones now so let's kick it up a notch and use these so in order for me to do that I need to practice and what better way to practice than to pick up all the stuff I'm about to try with some chopsticks right so let's start with stuff okay hmm Let's start with these. So these are biscuits with a chocolate filling. They're from the company Lottie. And they're like little koala bears. I believe these are Japanese. Yes, okay, I don't know. Well, they look delicious, so. Because the thing is, they add new things onto Wanahong all the time and I can't just not do it. I can't just not order them because like they look really nice. So I'm gonna have to order them, aren't I? How'd you open this? Jesus, they're a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be. Oh right, I see. One whole bag of them. This isn't just one, they're all in here. Let's try and pick one up with a chopstick. Oh my god, they look adorable. Oh, that's not that hard actually. So let's just take it off the chopsticks so I can show you. So there's a hole in this one's face, just ignore that. But look how cute these look. Can you see that? It's so basically, it's like a little puffed crackery thing. It's got chocolate in the middle, what's not to love. It's got a little cute character on the front. Let's give it a taste. Well. That's dangerous, that is. Any more characters? Oh, here we go. Look at this one. Look at that. Lovely. Okay. Those are delish. Do you know what they taste like? Um, I don't know whether they have this type of cereal in um, wherever the part of the world that you're from. Um, I don't think they have them in Asia. It tastes like Crave, which is a basically chocolate filled cereal and that tastes exactly the same as that. And I couldn't be more happy about it because that's delicious. And here we have something very, very... Okay. Okay. I did not... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, so here we have some Dream Animal Crackers. 45 different shapes. And um, they actually tell you what animal it is on the cracker look. And look on the back, you can learn different languages. So 
A horn owl is an ille in German, hibou in French, and eel in Dutch. There's even one for, an, for a peafowl. So, look, look at that, lovely. Um, however, when I purchased these, I did not see that they were seaweed flavoured. So, I am a bit apprehensive. I hate seaweed flavoured things. God, you can already smell it as soon as... Do you know what? It's glad I bought the water up, isn't it? I bought some water up because it was hot. And now I'm going to need to flip and get the taste of seaweed out of my mouth. But we've still got to try them because we bought them. Oh, you can just smell it. You can just smell it. I don't know why people like seaweed. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Oh, geez. you really can't pick anything up. Okay, here we go. So this is a peafowl. I mean, that's not in the shape of anything. That's not in the shape of anything. What the hell is that? It's just a peafowl. Mm, I'm hoping that the seaweed will be complemented by the cracker. Let's give it a taste. No, 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 no. No, 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 mm -mm. no, The cracker is delicious. It's nice and sweet. And then you get a bite of seaweed. And honestly, it's not the worst combination in the world because the seaweed is diminished by the cracker flavor. However, I can still taste it and I do not want it in my mouth, so. Nice, but no thanks. I also bought this. This is some tuna. Um, so this says, Dongwon Go Chu Cham Chi. Go Chu Cham Chi. So hot pepper tuna. Basically, it's the tuna that I put in like kimchi fried rice and ramen and stuff. They, they add a lot of tuna to things. So I tried, decided to try it. So the next time I make some kimchi fried rice or ramen, I shall try it. So there's that. I've had these before, but not this type. This is called Duboki Snack. Dukboki Snack. And basically, they are supposed to simulate um, tokboki rice cakes as a crisp. Last time I had these, they're going to be, they were extremely, extremely sweet and nothing like I thought they were going to be. So maybe they'll be different compared to a different brand or something. This brand is Snack. Oi, no, just Snack, I don't know. But there's a character on the front. So. Let's tuck into some Duboki snack. And as I learned from the last one, you shouldn't really mess with Chokboki because Chokboki is delish. And um, basically, it's not being, it's not meant to be made into a crisp. So they smell exactly the same as the other ones. So I suspect they will be um, basically the same tasting. There's one. Let's give it a taste. It already looks ridiculously sweet because it looks like there's sugar coated all over it. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't think they're supposed to be that chewy. <laughs> they are in date. They expire in October. However, I want to say that they've got a bit stale. I can't hardly chew them. Unless that's what it's supposed to be like, in which case mine. They're okay. I find this a lot with Korean and Asian snacks. The 
the snacks that tend to not have like shrimp or seaweed or fishy flavors are incredibly sweet. Even the meat ones, the meat ones are incredibly sweet. This was something that I thought, what the, what the hell? This shouldn't be a thing. What is that noise? Could you please shut up? I'm gonna have to have some more water, I think, because I'm getting that taste out of my mouth. It's the, not the crisps, the seaweed still in there. Disgusting. Are we finished? Okay. Whatever room I go into, there's noise. Right, so these are some, some lays. I'm turning the thing around because I don't want you to see what flavour it is yet. Hands up, who all thinks they know what flavour it is? If you said cherry blossom, you are cr I am just trying to film a simple video and something's deciding to make lots of noise in the next house. Cool. If that happens again, I'm going to punch someone in the face. <laughs> so yes, these are cherry blossom flavoured Lay's or Walkers if you're in the UK. Um, I believe these are Chinese. Um, they had quite a few flavours of Walkers like seaweed or Italian meat. However, I plumped for this one and this one only because... No, you shouldn't put cherry blossom into a crisp. <laughs> Let's try it anyway. This, this smell weird, this smell really weird. What the hell is that smell? It smells like gone off yogurt, if that's the thing. Like the... I have no idea what that noise is, but it's really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> okay, it's physically impossible to pick up this type of chip with the, thank you, with the, um, chopsticks, I'm just going to use my hand. Um, look at that, there are pink speckles all over it. I'm freaking out. It does not smell very nice. <laughs> I hate my life, I hate my life so much. Whoever made these should be put to death. I would offer these to other people, but I know no one's going to like them. Do you know where these are going? Straight into the garbage. They're going into the garbage because that is disgusting. Basically, it's very vinegared. It tastes vinegary. It smells and tastes vinegary, but pure vinegar. It's like salt and vinegar, but replace the salt with sugar and vinegar. It's basically sugar and vinegar, and it's disgusting. It needs to be, I'm, I'm burping now. It needs to be put to sleep in the bin. Disgusting. You're getting on my nerves. Not you twice. Whoever is making that goddamn noise next door. Look, you know what? We're just going to move on because I'm losing the will to live. Now, next is a packet of Cheetos. Now, last time I tried the barbecue ones and they didn't taste of barbecue. They tasted sweet and weird and gross. I suspect these will probably be the same kind of thing because these are turkey flavour. They're roast turkey leg. Oh. Well, this says American hot chicken. However, on the website it was marketed as turkey. So we're going to assume that it means that it's turkey. Let's try and pick one up. It's, it literally smells exactly the same as the barbecue ones. Let's 
Give it a go anyway. Mmm. I apologize. These are not the same. They smell the same. They don't taste the same. They taste like, like they do taste like chicken or something. And there is sweetness in there, but it's not overwhelmingly sweetness that I can't taste anything else. Mmm. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Mmm, <laughs> is it delish? Oh, this is dangerous. This is real dangerous. And you know what? These aren't that bad. These chopsticks, they're not that hard to use. I feel like if you know how to use wooden chopsticks, you'll know how to use these. I'm just a noob, so that's why it's taken me so long. Oh, I'm gonna have to put them down. Oh, God. That was so nice. Uh, right, I think it's time for something sweet. Almost finished, by the way, with this little taste test. How long have we been recording for? Oh, God. Okay. We're going to try these two Peppero snacks next. So I, there were again, lots and lots of Peppero uh, flavors to choose from. This is Korea, the number one chocolate and biscuit brand. So we've got um, snowy almond and white chocolate cookies and cream. Basically Oreos. Um, they're made by Lottie and I chose the white chocolate ones and the white and they're like almond ones um, because I, from the looks of the other flavours they were all dark chocolate and I don't like dark chocolate like at all. So we're going to try the cookies and cream one first. So you open it at the back. Obviously I don't need the chopsticks for these. Open it at the back. And here's one of the sticks. Oh yeah, that smells awesome. <sighs> Have you ever had um, the C C Cocoa Pops cereal bar? That's exactly the same smell as this. That smells the same. So this is the cookies and cream one, otherwise known as the, um, what was the word? Oreo one. Uh, let's give it a taste. What's not to like? Well, that's nice. Okay, okay. I've obviously saved the best snacks till last. Snowy almond. I chose snowy almond also because I really, really like almonds. Whoever's done this has kindly stuck the sticker over the thing I'm supposed to open. So <laughs> that one looks. <laughs> open, you bitch. Let's open it. Okay, you know what? This noise is getting old now. Let's just open it. Oh. Oh, that smells nice and nutty. Oh, that's nice. I love almonds, like to death. Okay, like his. Here it is. Lovely. Let's try it to taste. Shush. I'm commanding you to stop making noise. I will punch through the wall and rip whatever wire or pipe is making that noise. Thank you. Why not listen to me? Let's give it a taste. I love it when you really like something. <laughs> like when you eat something for the first time and you think, my God, this is so freaking delicious. I love these. Oh, sorry, I only bought one stick. Wow, that's nice. Mm-hmm. 
I recommend. Snowy Almond Peppero. Peppero. Love, love it. Love it. Now let's try the final. I'm sorry, I'm just getting some water. Let's try the final. I've got to cleanse the palette. Let's try the final savoury snack. So. These are cowboy potato chips. I think they're Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. That's Japanese, correct? Correct, Japanese, correct, yeah. And these are barbecue flavour. Now, as I have learned, when in the this part of the world, um, the eastern side of the world, when they mean, except for, not Australia, um, but like Korea, Japan, Chinese, when they mean when they say barbecue, they don't mean barbecue sauce. They mean barbecue, as in like grilled meat flavour. Which is a bit misleading, in my opinion. Because Walker's Barbecue Crisps are my absolute all-time favourite crisps. They don't exist anymore, but, you know. So, only tear down here. Oh my god, look at this little potato grilling some corn. It's on the front as well, look at that. That's really funny. Right, let's open it. Oh, it smells so nice though. Again, I'm not going to use the chopsticks because I can't bother. I can't bother anymore. I've approved that I can use them. So. so, right off the bat, they do smell sweet, but they don't smell as sweet as the Cheeto barbecue. They smell a lot more meaty and possibly spicy. But we're going to give it a try. Okay, right. Here's the flavour I'm getting. Meat. And meat. It's basically, I'd say like an umami flavour. I'm not getting a whole lot else. You taste the potato a lot. I'm not getting a whole lot of other flavour. It smells a lot more than it tastes. Um, but there's no sweetness at all. Like hardly any sweetness at all. Sars, you got cut off. <laughs> so yes, as I was saying, not really barbecued meat, um, more just like an umami flavour. But very, very, very nice. So, I'm sure we're finishing those off. You know, lighter, lighter, now. <laughs> right after this. Um, and this comes to our last snark. And it is a candy, it's a sweet. Now I've tried these in gummies before. I've never tried the hard candy version. They're Lottie grape candies. I have no idea whether they're muscat grapes. It's, I assume so because um, it's kind of the only grapes, it's the most common grape I assume in, that, in Korea. Oh, it just says green grapes. I don't think it's muscat then. Now, I like red and black grapes or like purple grapes. I don't really like green grapes that much in this country um, because they remind me of little bulls of snot. <laughs> you know, I'm very childish. But um, I know there's no like discernible flavour difference really, but there is to me. So, we're going to try one. So, it's basically the same as the gummy one I tried like a year ago. Um, However, it is hard, not soft. I'm gonna open it. Here we go. Mmm. I think it is muscat. Tastes like muscat. Mmm. Mmm. The flavour isn't as intense as in the gummy. However, it is a very nice muscatty grape, green grape flavour. Mmm. God, you have to make a lot of noise when you eat it, though. That's really nice, that is. Mm. I didn't find any... I assume they do red one as well, but I didn't see any red ones on the website, so I just got the green one. I literally have five seconds left of the video. I'm literally about to say bye. And I've run out of space on the disc, on the... Uh, what do you call it? What's that thing? The card. Memory card thing run out of space on it <laughs> so i had to delete something really quickly 
just to film the outro, which is gonna be like five seconds, literally. I'm going to go now. And I am going to finish these bad boys off. <laughs> oh, and we're going to throw these away. Throw them away. Because this should not exist. The drink was tolerable. However, cherry blossom is supposed to be looked at and smelt, not eaten. Okay? Sorry people from Japan. Sorry people who enjoy the taste of cherry blossom. You weird. And you need to have that looked at because you're eating flowers. Same people who eat roses, like Solo when she ate that rose. Why did you do that? <laughs> it's a flower. Just don't, okay? Just, just don't, okay? I'm gonna go and throw them away. <laughs>